Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel we'll learn how to swap the hot end on the Bamboo Lab X1 and X1 Carbon in under 5 minutes. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Becoming a member is a great way to support the channel and has a few perks besides just getting your name and lights here. Click the join button to find out more. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so maybe you have a nozzle that failed or you want to swap out the 0.4 millimeter nozzle for a 0.6 or a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. Whatever the reason, I'll show you how to swap the hot end on your Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbon in under 5 minutes. This is going to be very similar to a previous video in which I showed the process of swapping hot ends using the spare part that's included with the printer. This time, I'm going to swap in a 0.8 millimeter hot end that I bought from the Bamboo Lab online store. The hot ends are available for purchase as just the metal parts, as I previously used, and also as full assemblies with the fan, ceramic heater, thermistor, clip, and sock already installed. And that's what we're using here today. So enough talking, right? Let's get this swapped. Here we are with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, which is powered off and cold. I've got the top glass removed for visibility. The front of the tool head is simply held on with magnets, so pull it gently forward. It's got a fan mounted on it, so be careful of the wires. You can either unplug the fan connector and remove the part completely, or leave it connected and let the cover hang off to the side, as I'm doing here. Now we can see the circuit board on the front of the tool head, and there are three connectors we need to unplug. These are the connectors for the hot end fan, the ceramic heater, and the thermistor. The heater connector is the largest of the three here. This is the fan connector here. And this is the thermistor connector. It has a tiny locking tab, so you'll need to press and hold that tab while unplugging it. Pro tip for unplugging any connector. Pull on the plastic plug itself, not on the wires when you're unplugging. If you pull on the wires to unplug something, you risk pulling the wires out of the connector and leaving the plug stuck in the socket. And then that's just one more thing you'll have to fix. So, with the three connectors unplugged, remove these two screws, which secure the hot end assembly to the tool head. Then remove the hot end. Now it's time to install the new fully assembled 0.8 millimeter hot end. This is exactly the reverse of the removal process. Insert the new hot end into the tool head and secure it with the two screws. Then plug in the three connectors. The thermistor connector, the fan connector, and the heater connector. Tuck the wires behind this clip to neaten them up. Then reattach the front of the tool head. And that's it! You're done! Now you can turn the printer on and start printing. So yeah, the fully assembled hot ends cost a little bit more, coming in at 35 bucks versus the 15 bucks for just the hot end and heat sink. But Having the fully assembled hot end makes it so much easier to swap in a different size nozzle when you need one, or when you need to replace a failed one and get up and running as quickly as possible. That's just kind of the way of the world, I guess. Convenience costs extra. But for real, two screws and three plugs in five minutes and you're back in business. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. 
If you like this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you could do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.